My name is Suzanne Victor. I'm a multimedia artist. My practice is diverse, so it's not restricted to any particular materials, if I can put it that way. So it um, crosses, you know, performance art, installations, public artworks, um, and very architecture-centred, responsive works. I think the weather as a subject matter is quite a rare thing for artistic practice. The rainbow is an artwork without any object and it's actually a perceptual experience, it's an artifact of vision. And you can't trace it back to any fixed point in space, whether it's a natural rainbow outdoors, in the open landscape or in the building. It is really about each water droplet refracting colour spectrum and that same water droplet is actually moving in space. So if it gives me the colour red as it drops and changes position, that same raindrop in my position becomes another colour as it moves in space. So to think of an artwork, you know, with regards to all these constant transition in how it, what colour it gives you and where it is and whether you're on the second floor of the rotunda or the ground floor, how far you are away from the water curtain, they all participate in giving you an experience. The desire here is to be able to experience a fully circular rainbow. And we're using the latest green technology, the most high-tech technology, which is a heliostat, that will be able to bisect. So what it does is it harvests the sunlight and then it redirects it into the building. And then inside the building, there's the heart of the artwork, which is two curved mirrors, which will recast this light onto the water screen. So I hope that um, not only are we going to see something quite beautiful, quite profound, I hope. You know, we can look at the rainbow in a different way and hopefully rainbow, every time the sun shines, we can just pop into the museum when the sun shines and um, have a really different experience with rainbows.